Today we're going to be going over how to add your company's Windows systems into JumpCloud leveraging our JumpCloud agent. Once logged into your JumpCloud administrative account for your organization, you'll want to navigate to the Systems menu in the left-hand side. You'll be able to view the many different systems that are within your organization within this menu. JumpCloud's directory as a service is entirely vendor agnostic, meaning that we can work with both Linux, Mac, and Windows machines. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on adding Windows systems into this demo org. To add a new system, simply click on the plus button in the top left side and select your operating system. For Windows machines, select Windows. Here, you can go ahead and click on the Download Agent button to download JumpCloud's Windows agent. You'll also see a Connect key on this menu as well. This Connect key is a unique key that is required during the install in order to add the new Windows systems to your JumpCloud organization. For this demonstration, we'll be using a Windows 10 Pro VM with the hostname of bfay 001 This machine is a single local user account, Bob Fay, with administrative privileges. We'll go through the manual install along with binding Bob's JumpCloud account to his Windows system, thus taking over Bob's local account and enforcing his JumpCloud password on his Windows system. To get started, you'll need to log into the machine as a local administrator. In this use case, there is no current directory and Bob Fay's account is the sole and only user on this machine. Bob's current password is bobfay123! Navigating to the folder which contains the install, go ahead and go through the install by clicking Next until you get to the Connect Key input screen. Copy your Connect Key from the JumpCloud organization into the Connect Key field and hit Next. This will authorize the Connect Key with JumpCloud and begin to add this Windows system into JumpCloud. This process can take up to about two minutes. Once the system is added as a new active system within JumpCloud, the agent reaches out to JumpCloud for any updates within a 60 second cadence meaning that any change to the system or its associations will be automatically updated or changed within 60 seconds. We can now see that the system bfade 001 has been successfully added. By clicking on the system, we can pull up some of the system's information such as hostname, network adapter address, external IP address, agent version, serial numbers, full disk encryption status, and many others. We then want to take over the pre-existing local account for Bob by binding his JumpCloud user account to his associated system, which we've just added into JumpCloud. Please note that when binding JumpCloud users to JumpCloud systems, account takeover will only occur if the username of the local's Windows account matches the JumpCloud user's username configuration. Otherwise, a new local Windows account is provisioned on the system. To bind Bob Fay's JumpCloud account to his JumpCloud system, click on the system in the systems list, click on the users tab, and search and select the user that you'd like to bind to the system. You can also promote or demote a user's privileges as well during this process. Since Bob Fay is currently an administrator on his Windows machine, we're going to demote him to a standard local user with no admin rights. Go ahead and hit save user and within 60 seconds of hitting save, the following will happen. Within 60 seconds, the agent will reach out to JumpCloud asking for any updates. Since we're binding Bob's JumpCloud account, the agent is instructed that if Bob Fay's JumpCloud username already exists as a local account within the system, then take over the account and enforce his JumpCloud password. If the JumpCloud user account's username does not exist, provision a new account on the Windows system. Jumping back to the Windows system, we can see that Bob was not logged out or forced out of his current session. It is only upon the next password query that he'll have to type in the new JumpCloud password, such as a lock screen, log off, log in, or a reboot. In this scenario, we'll perform a full log off just to show that the password change is taken into effect. We're now using Bob's JumpCloud password of Pearl Street 303 exclamation point. In order to log in, instead of his previous insecure BobFay123 exclamation password as we saw in the beginning of the tutorial. Thanks again for watching this tutorial over adding new JumpCloud systems into JumpCloud and taking over pre-existing local Windows accounts.